welcome all of you so in this session uh, primarily the aim of uh, having this session was uh, to give you an insights how what interview is all about right generally there is a false notion that interview is about projection of your knowledge to the board believe me uh, i have faced uh, uh, three shades of uh, interviews conducted by upsc nda cds and your upsc civil services believe me they are not interested in your knowledge at all because prelims and mains they have tested you enough on your knowledge uh, there are references in the past sir will agree with me 2007 right the student krishna sir right krishna he was asked 19 questions in the interview 17 he said sorry i do not know the answer ended up getting all india first rank happens to be from your own town of hyderabad so interview is not about your information or knowledge it is about your personality accepting that i do not know it with grace okay so there a lot of questions the students had so we are preparing for interview see what happens is most of the institutes they train you on prelims they train you on mains but there is no training on interview as such so this session we had decided to you know uh, hold for all of you because uh, thankfully sir is also there in uh, hyderabad whenever we conduct the mock interviews you will definitely find two uh, lions sitting and trying to catch up on you so but before that happens don't worry i'll i'll personally ensure that you are adequately prepared for any battle as regards interviews concerned okay uh, as per the news goes december first week approximately we can expect the uh, what do you call the mains result and I, i i hope and i pray that all four of you should be there in that list which will be called for the interview okay uh, so we'll the, the the structure of this session is basically not only those four of them anybody having any 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 question related to interview you are free to ask any question under this sky me and sir both of us will try to answer your questions and any inhibitions related to you know interview there is a biggest inhibition i would like to open the discussion with this uh, that you know uh, language choice of language in interview is very important generally many students they they you know they they choose to take interview in their own regional language because of the fear of english right uh, there are certain set of students who are exempted from the language paper of mains are you aware of it there are certain set of students who are exempted from the language paper you have a paper a language you know they are exempted from who are those no not complete northeast there are two states of northeast which are exempted from that exemption also which are those two states arunachal pradesh is exempted it is a state of assam and tripura which does not enjoy this exception because that bengali and hindi comes into play there and assamese is also a very strong this thing presence so that is why these two states got, do not get the exemption sikkim also has an exemption so this can also be a question in your you know interview so be prepared see interview is all about your confidence levels if you do not know you do not know if you know this is what i know okay so any questions related to interview i will also try to raise some questions during the discussion with sir himself i'll i'll put some questions on all of your behalf so we'll start the interview anybody the choice goes to the four uh, selected lot any questions any inhibitions related to interview you have you are free to ask please the stage is all yours you can throw your questions yeah sir how to approach interview see the uh, first and <laughs> foremost thing is as sir was also saying you know i would repeat the same point but with one addition be brutally honest when it comes to the interview yeah you are in front of a board that has spent you know 25 30 years of their career in the civil service etc and these people you know they precisely know not only what you are talking but what you are intending to talk i'll give you one example of a point that you know when i gave the interview there was one lady aspirant who was volume sitting range. before me volume and it was her turn first and then my was the second number she went inside everything was good we were all there were two three other candidates we were waiting i think it was barely 5 7 minutes that within that time she came out and she didn't come out alone she came out with another lady member who was accompanying her by the way that lady member came out from the room it was very certain she was one of the lady members in the panel only 
and they walked past us they went outside to the upsc lawn and 7 8 minutes they came back so we were all wondering we didn't know what happened and then again they went inside they conducted her interview after 20 minutes then she finally came back and when she came back she almost had tears in her eyes so we all got scared especially me because i was the next one so i <laughs> didn't know what was going to happen so we just asked her what happened and then she said ki i had written gardening as my hobby and the lady took me outside to the upsc lawn and said identify the plant and she didn't know she bluffed so first and foremost thing that i just said sir please be brutally <coughs> honest if you have a hobby then it's a hobby and if you don't have a hobby don't cook a hobby don't create one i saw somebody in front of me losing her entire career because she did this that she just arbitrarily because some coaching in delhi told her that you need to <laughs> ride gardening and yoga as hobby which are the two most prominent ones she wrote and then you can see the rest of that second important thing is that when you are in the interview when you enter the room when you open the door seek their permission enter please be very attentive at that time and the reason why i am saying that be attentive is because probably i witnessed this so i can tell you from my own personal experience again that when i entered i knocked the door i entered i took their permission went inside sat on the chair and the first question that the member asked me was that pavneet you entered the room what was the color of the wall behind you i didn't know it i didn't notice now obviously i'm not going to open the door look at the surroundings like this and all but the bare minimum thing is that at least you are attentive enough so i don't know what they were trying to test but it didn't work for me i mean they asked i didn't know it so i understood after that that attentiveness is a skill your ability to notice things happening in your surrounding that is an important second thing to remember and third as sir was also saying and again the same when you are answering something you have to remember very clearly that in the interview if you don't know an answer to something firstly don't speak apologize and say i don't know and i think in the last 4 days with you people here i also have taught you the same thing that in the mains exam answer when you write please don't buff you know don't try to fool the examiner if you don't know an answer means leave the answer blank rather than writing one point extrapolating it exaggerating it and then just playing with facts which you deliberately know that they are not relevant for the exam i have shown you penalty marks 25 that a student got his career got devastated because of violation of commission instructions because of writing nonsense there so this particular thing is very crucial so try specifically all of you as majority as we have seen in the class are preparing for 24 handful for 25 please be such that when you are preparing even now do your preparation in a manner that your personality gets developed appropriately are you getting the point like for example when i taught you today how to write an editorial and all of you wrote such good summary also you at least made a good attempt every one of you i was happy to see that you are honest enough to accept that some of you made some errors some of you made more errors that honesty that skill in you please nurture it this becomes a part of your personality later on and this is what you will reflect in the interview and sir also said the same thing they don't test your knowledge they have tested it in the prelims and mains what they check in the interview is that what is your opinion about certain issues so for example there may be a member sitting there and he may say ki you know israel and hamas war is going on right now so according to you what do you think that you know who was at fault if they ask you something like this you have to give a very balanced answer at that time you cannot start giving them story ki sir israel was created in 1948 then hamas came hamas did see they are not interested they want to know what is your opinion who is wrong this means please remember one thing in the interview you know you have to display a value which i normally tell people is speak as much as asked and don't speak what is not asked for example if they ask you what is your name you simply say what is your name 
you don't say sir my you know mother wanted to name me this but my father said this but my grandfather you know kept my name and finally my name is even cutter ban atti kutti you know you don't do all that nuisance you know this particular thing can be done only and i am repeating again please remember this habit will not come some people you know have this habit of over talking talking way too much so you have to be very careful to remember that develop your personality in such a way that you talk limited because in the interview see the board does not know you you do not know who the person sitting there is they will know you on the basis of what comes out of your mouth and if you create a story as to who named you your mother your grandfather your grandmother you create openings for 10 different more questions so speak as much as they ask and when you speak as much as they ask second thing ensure is that there is always a closure in the point that you speak don't leave points open ended see everything in the interview honestly you would be now understanding is exactly just a verbal version of what i taught you in answer writing in your answers i told you don't bluff in your answers i told you don't play with unnecessary nonsensical stuff be to the point upsc says boss i am not saying anything i showed you upsc notification says sir they want exact orderly effective expression with due economy of words and due economy of words they don't only want in your answer sir they also want in your verbal answer in the interview so due economy of word is something that stays with you permanently it stays with you even in your career in civil service tomorrow when you become a collector no in front of the mla who will come and do nuisance in your office due economy of words he comes he starts shouting he starts abusing due economy of words thank you sir